Hey traders, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. And in this video, I'm going to go over how to set up your book map. I just did a, a video tutorial on what everything is. I kind of did a whole walkthrough and how to get a book map um, via your Thinkorswim. And I'm going to do how to set this up, your book map settings in Thinkorswim, right? Um, remember, there are now two versions. There's one directly that you can access within your book map, just, or sorry, your Thinkorswim. Go to charts and then book map. Okay, and then uh, you'll be able to log into it directly from there. Uh, you get three symbols for free, the S&P E-Mini Futures, uh, Apple and Microsoft. Now, if you don't see Bookmap, what you're going to need to do is call Thinkorswim and let them know you want to add Bookmap into your um, trading platform. And then what they'll do is they'll flip a switch. You'll restart your uh, Thinkorswim and it'll be there um, right under charts where your flex grid is right here. Um, and then if you want all the stocks, you could go and select subscribe, right? Um, I believe it's $39 or something like that. You'll want to call Thinkorswim, double check for all the pricings, but that will give you like Tesla and uh, Occidental and all the other different stocks that you want to trade. Um, or if you're okay, like for me, I'm an S&P E-mini future trader, so this is, <laughs> works out perfect. But with this video, um, I'm going to go over and I'm going to walk you through how to set everything up. So if you want it to look like mine, well, then uh, this is uh, the video for you. But before I show you that, check this out. Make sure you check out my website, daytrainfearless.com to sign up for the $99 lifetime subscription special for the weekly S&P E-mini trade zones. These are zones where I give you resistance, support, open gaps, and open VPOX for the following week uh, trading. You also, in the member section, will receive a two-hour trade zone training video course uh, where I teach you everything about the trade zones, how to draw them uh, so you could trade any stock, future, or cryptocurrency. And you also get the member section with all the resistance support levels and things like that to draw on any chart. So make sure you check it out. Links down below, but right back to the video. Okay, with that being said, here's the cool thing with Bookmap. Okay, I'm going to tie it in with uh, what you just saw about my uh, trade zones uh, for the weekly trade zones, right? You can use book map, and when we're coming down to one of my trade zones, okay, you'll actually be able to go, wow, look at this. He drew a trade zone last weekend, and it's now Wednesday, and as we're coming down, look at all this volume at a specific trade zone, and this just, just could be another confirmation to using the, my weekly trade zones with book map in your think or swim so hopefully uh, that kind of makes sense and you remember you can also draw right there's a drawing tool if you want to make rectangles right you could do something like this and say hey look there's um a trade zone right here um, from uh day train fearless and it actually matches up with this big uh high volume node right i'm not saying this is the one but um it's just another way as price is falling or rising if you see a trade zone you see big volume saying there hey because these are support and resistant levels that we're actually seeing uh that book map gives us so um, so let's kind of jump right into it. Like I said, I've already gone over um, how everything, what everything is in this one. We're actually going to set everything up. So over here, we're going to go to COB, right? We're going to go into the black. We're going to go in COB stands for current order book. We're going to configure. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show bid, show the ask, extend. 
okay, bars and numbers. If you just do uh, bars only, you don't see how many contracts there are, right? And the longer the bar, meaning the bigger the contract, meaning, remember, these are all limit orders down below and all limit orders up above. So this is your liquidity at different prices. I'm then going to click on split display like this, but I'm going to go inverse display and then undo it like that. And then I'm going to put uh, either like that or that, but we're going to leave it here. This is the way I like it. So that'll be done. We come over here to CVP, configure, okay, and it's chart range volume, right? So with this is if I kind of zoom in, I'll only see volume for whatever my chart is showing, right? But if I zoom all the way out, it'll give me market profile, right, or volume profile of the entire chart, right? So when we make a low, I could go, okay, wow, look at this. This low that we made earlier, there really wasn't that much of volume. And maybe that low was the low of day, kind of saying, hey, liquidity dried up, right? Now, if you want, you could go in um, and reset, or if you want, you could change it to something else uh, over here. But if you go here, click on this, you could change everything right here. Now, if you want to see session, just click on session, right? And then it'll, even if I zoom in, it'll still give me the whole entire session. And we could see that there really wasn't that much volume um, from the uh, down here at the lows. So so that's how that works. Um, but let's go back to the chart range. I like chart range, right? Because I could see, hey, where's a smaller volume profile support resistance. Second, I'm going to go into here. I'm going to turn off. This will be checked. I'm going to uncheck that. I personally don't uh, use the delta. Um, just never found it really helpful. I'm going to go into um, order book and balance. Um, I'm going to uncheck that. This, if anything, for me, again, this is me. It just is more information that is irrelevant that I could really have never found um, to be relevant to me and my trading in the way I see the markets. Because remember, I've used Bookmap for years. Um, I have a link down below if you want to go use the bigger Bookmap, um, which is the standalone and not in Thinkorswim. I have a free trial. You could check that out. Um, where if you use other brokers, you like I use Stage 5 as one of my training platforms. Well, I actually have my Stage 5 linked up to my standalone Bookmap and could trade directly from there and see everything just from there too. Um, volume dots, I, I personally don't like the volume dots. I get rid of those. The volume bars, I change this to five. Okay, I want them a little thick, but not too thick. I leave it total volume, solid, everything's good. VWAP, I like a VWAP. I like to use the color purple uh, for my uh, VWAP. Um, and then if you want to change other things with it, uh, here, uh, let's use, uh, this purple. I want to stand out a little more. Um, and then I leave everything as is. Um, and then for my large lot tracker, I leave that as is. Um, and then I go to my heat map. This is where we're going to start to change things. I'm going to go over here, right, where I'm going to click include legacy. Because when you click include legacy, you get a lot more, right? You only get a couple. So I'm going to add... And I'm, I'm actually going to use just this one right here. Now, if you want this up here, leave it uh, checked. If not, uncheck it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little darker. I'm going to put this right around 45, give or take. And I'm going to bring this down um, probably to about 90 somewhere around here, right? Because I want to see these things a little cleaner. Um, and then we're going to go into, 
or is it uh, right here event and we're actually going to make this brightness about 50 large height uh take it to about 25 and then the contrast um we'll just leave it zero and you're gonna see why i do this in a second right and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tweak this around a little a little bit for you guys i'm gonna right click okay and then i'm gonna go to uh where it's right here where it says best bid ask i'm gonna uncheck that and i'm gonna check just show last price that's all i care about right i only want to see this one line i don't i personally don't like seeing the bid and the ask on there okay and then i'll kind of zoom in and let's take this guy to about here um and let's go back in here let's go to heat map and bring this uh, actually down to about 20 and bring this uh up to about uh we'll, we'll call this 97 okay um and the reason for that is because all i care about is where is the real big volume right we see 135 contracts which is the most out of all these things here and it's a nice yellow color right um up here um even though when we were up here last time there was a ton of volume and it's no longer there as when we came back up up here it no longer shows so um this is essentially the way i like to have my setup um if you guys want to kind of copy this and then tweak tweak with it play around with it see what works for you but um hopefully it helps you guys out kind of get started and to understand uh book map here and think or swim a little better so i uh, hope you guys enjoy this uh video and as always Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.